But apparently, everybody's savior now, because everybody believes in Bitcoin, is BlackRock. Because, you know, BlackRock filed for that Bitcoin ETF, spot ETF. And, it you know, it's already went through. Now, you know, it's pumping Bitcoin. It hit uh, 70K. Now it's retracting a little bit. But, you know, big money's in. Bitcoin's going to go to the moon because big money institutional investors. But let's hear what Mr. Larry Fink, CEO of BlackRock, wants to do with you and what ex- what he expects from you here in the future. Mm. Because what's coming down the pipeline may not be something that everybody really wants. You have to force behaviors. And at BlackRock, we are forcing behaviors. The retirement crisis. Give us your diagnosis of that problem right now. Um, the acute problem here in the United States is that we have still 57 million Americans who who don't have any savings or any retirement plan. Social Security is a fantastic foundation for retirement. But if that's all you have when you retire, you're, you're going to be living in, 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 a, in, in poverty below the poverty line because it just is not, it's supplemental, but it's not meant to be the totality of what you have in a retirement. And our entire retirement system was based on statistics that were created 50 years ago, whereby most Americans retired between 60 and 62 then, but most Americans then passed away at uh, 67. And today, statistically, uh, a couple uh, 60 years old in good health, one of them is going to live over 90. Mm. And so... The other question is, should we reevaluate how we work and how long we work? Many people find purpose in their in their jobs. Mm -hmm. And um, the thought of retiring at 60 with 30 more years or a 30 year life year life in front of you. These we need to have a dialogue. We need to have a conversation. At the same time, uh, should we be encouraging, as you suggest in your letter, people working longer? Should we make it a possible facility? Should we, and frankly, well, increase the age for Social Security? That is not for me to make a decision, but I think we need to have a conversation. Look, you and I are the same age. <laughs> okay, we are working longer. We have find purpose in what we do. Um, the founder of Bloomberg, Mike, is still working. <laughs> yeah. Um, I, I believe uh, I believe for those who can and they find purpose in work, my gosh, work as long as you can. And through that conversation, I think most people are going to elect to do things, maybe working longer or electing to, to be more um, to be more involved in how they put their money to work for retirement. You have to force behaviors. And at BlackRock, we are forcing behaviors. So what's interesting is that Mr. Larry Fink, BlackRock CEO, he put out in his in his newsletter that he thinks that the retirement age for 65 is crazy. So he wants you to believe that there's going to be this new digital currency inflow. He's believing in tokenization. He's about to create a tokenizational fund, which we're talking about how his objective of tokenization and what that implies in many episodes in the previous. But the idea is I started thinking about it. Okay. You can collect early social security when you're 59, right? Or you can wait till you're what? 65, 66 to collect full benefits. But he's saying that's crazy. So he's thinking we should work till about 75 or so, so we can get retirement. So the one thing I want to ask you guys in the chat what is a 70-year-old man supposed to be doing? What kind of job is a 70-year-old man going to do? If you believe in AI and you believe in robotics and automation is going to take over the jobs in the future, so basic jobs like cash registers, uh, shelf stalkers, uh, you know, low-level jobs that maybe an older gentleman could do. And let's not even talk about older women. Just older gentlemen, but all old people, they need to raise that retirement until they're like 75. What are they supposed to do? You want them to work longer because we already know right now, Social Security over the full duration, the government just came out with a report. It's $175 trillion in deficits. Now, how that allocates it... If you guys want it, I'll put it in the Discord. The government just put out a whole article on it. That equates to about $1.4 million to each 
United States citizen. There's just no way on coming back to the Social Security being fixed. And not only is the Social Security an issue, people are getting COLAs, those which is cost of living allowances. So not only are they saying that we can't pay for Social Security and full benefits by 2030, 2035, we're just going to keep giving people more money. So anybody who's collecting Social Security now, let's give them another 3% raise every year. So you're giving people who are taking Social Security more money now, but you're saying all future generations, you have to wait till you're 75 to collect anything or retire. What are you supposed to do? What, Get to work. Yeah. What is a 70 year old man going to do? Well, it's easy for uh, Mr. Fink to say, cause he's obviously got life good. So, but uh, this is something that everybody knows. I mean, Shapiro back, all them point this out that those higher upper people they don't have any idea what it's actually like in real life they live in a facade they literally live in a virtual reality it's not it's not the reality that the rest of us live and those are the people that are creating our decisions for us yeah and that's the problem you heard him in the video he says <laughs> you know you know uh, our friend over at bloomberg and you and myself you know we all find purpose in our jobs and we're living longer we're going to be living till we're 90 and such and i'm like yeah, that is great. It's great for those who've already established their well-being for the future and decades and generations to come. But that's not the majority of, of, of American citizens. A lot of elderly, they depend on Medicaid. They depend on their Social Security check. Now, what if those people had to wait until 70 or 75? What are they going to do? What, my question is, is, what job can they do? Tell me what kind of a job can a 70-year-old man do? And yeah, maybe they, if they're smart and they have this business or they were given a silver spoon or they had these opportunities to make all this money, but that's not the majority of elderly. They need their social security and they depend on Medicaid to pay for prescriptions and other things. They could take up whittling. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. And I think that's just a more reasonable question. If I could talk to Mr. Bitcoin, BlackRock, Larry Fink. So you want people to wait till they're 70, 75. Great. Let's say that's true. What do you want to look into the camera and tell the American citizens today? This is the jobs that you can do and we have lined up for you. Because Larry Fink's the same person investing in AI and NVIDIA and Microsoft and everything else, which he believes is going to take over and automation and all these low-level jobs. So what's going to be left? So tell me, Mr. Fink, what are these elderly, and I'm an exclusifying gentleman, going to do? Because yes, now you have to give also elderly women task. What are they going to do? They're going to do nothing. I'm telling you, the whole thing just sounds like, again, back to isolational groups. You have nothing. You can provide nothing. So we're going to give you a 15-minute city to go sleep in, and you can live here. And this is what it's going to turn into. We're going to get rid of Social Security is going to go bankrupt, which it already is. Medicaid is going to go bankrupt, which it already is. And because you need that and you can't wait till you're 75, you're going to have to go live in this isolation camp. And when you get 75, we'll let you out. But until then, you need to go live in this isolation camp. Yeah, I was actually thinking that maybe that's the whole thing behind the thing is they're just trying to justify youth in America. Because once they, once they, not like they don't have to prove to you that old people are useless in their view, they're going to show the world that you old people past 70 are useless. Like, look, you can't actually produce anything, your productive value is zero. And that's what we've been trying to tell you guys. And this is what we're trying to tell you guys through this whole thing. And you know what's stupid to me is, you know, we're just talking about the millennials and the Gen Xs that are coming up that's going to be collecting. This guy, he's talking about our kids, our future generations. Bro, you're over here talking about changing retirement for the Gen Xs and the millennials. The alphas and betas, there's going to be absolutely no money. Well, their life expectancy rates can be 20 years old, so... Or maybe they're going to say it's going to be like 200 years old and going to be the Wally movie. No, no. With all the surgeries that they're performing, you know, it's they're, they're not going to live past 20. <laughs> well, we're, okay. If that's the case, that's fine. Maybe the whole goal is just total abrogation and the whole world's just going to end. All right, fine. <laughs> but that's not what he's selling. 
he's selling to the public. We're expecting to live to 90. We need to change. The, and it's, I just don't even know what he's thinking because maybe the Gen X is may take it. The millennials really ain't going to take it. And the Gen Z's ain't taking nothing. And it's just going to get worse and worse. The alphas and the betas. Everybody's going to be like, we're not, we're not waiting till we're 90 years old before we, because we, Everybody pays well, into this. We pay 15% of all our income. If you get it, if you're a regular W-2, 15% of your income is Medicaid and Social Security tax, and you're paying into this Ponzi scheme. And when you're ready to collect on this insurance Ponzi scheme, there ain't nothing there for you. But wait, there's more. Wait another 15 years, and maybe we can scam more people on the bottom of the scheme so then we could give you a little bit, but we're not going to be able to give you 100% benefits Maybe we can give you 50%, but then, you know, the alphas, maybe they got to wait till they're 90. Yeah. Wody is going to get folded like a laptop. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well. Or like a 2X shirt. Either way, you're going to get folded. I think he's he's going to get folded. Yeah, I, I just don't know. And all I'm trying to say is, this is the guy. That everybody is lifting up. Well, nobody lifts them up. Everybody doesn't like BlackRock. But they're all saying, thank God for the institutional investors. Now cryptocurrency is going to go through the roof. And the guy that you're trusting is going to maintain that cryptocurrency and every other speculative investment that you have is going to be maintained in your favor and not do a massive rug pull at some point. Is the same guy that's saying... We also want you to continue our Ponzi scam called Social Security. We know we don't have enough money for you when you get to 65, and we don't have really any answer. So what we're going to do is because we don't want the boomers to get mad at us, we're going to keep giving them full 100% benefits plus a 3.2% raise COLA every year. But when it's your time to collect the money, we're going to tell you we ain't got none, and you're going to have to wait till you're 75. And this is the guy that you think is going to you know, really look out for people's financial benefit. And, and intuitively, nobody believes that because everybody thinks BlackRock is, you know, evil entity controls the world. But at the same time, it's contradictive because they're all excited that institutional investors are getting into cryptocurrencies. So I, I just don't know. And it, it bomb foggles me that people believe in any of this nonsense. And I just would like to know what is the solution? What do we get 70-year-old men to do? If we want them to work till 70 or 75, what jobs will be available in 2035? Well, behaviors are going to have to change, and this is one thing we're, going to, we're asking companies. Uh, you have to force behaviors, and at BlackRock, we are forcing behaviors. Confirmation. 